There are many ways to create clothes in Blender, but if you want to try the easiest way, you have to try this Divine Cut add-on that generates clothes quite easily. Um, and I'm going to show you how to use it. I've just got it, and uh, let's explore how it works. The installation process, I think, is a tiny bit different from the usual way of doing it. So you just go and edit preferences, add-ons, and install. You have to unzip the download file and go into that file and then find this divinecart.py uh, file. Click on that and you should be able to install it. I've already installed it. So I'll just search it from my add-ons list and now you can see what it looks like. The add-on comes with a library of assets that you can use with the add-on. So to add that, you have to go under file and uh, add a new library and navigate again to the download folder you extracted and go into divine cards divine assets and accept to add a new library like that then you can split your window however you want and add an asset library folder and then you should be able to navigate to the divine assets where you can see the assets that you can use with the clothes so i have a model of this lady here uh, it's by Ancho Dinolo from Sketchfab. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to get the model. It's a well-built model uh, with textures and everything. So I want to dress up this character in some clothes and I'm going to use Divine. Do this, make sure you have Divine installed and uh, you can go to the Divine Cut add-on and uh, we can create a new cloth. I'm just going to remove all of these. I'm going to start with, with a top and then now we can do a trouser. So the first thing you want to do is select the character that you want to add the clothes onto. In the character section here, I'm just going to going to select the this character here and then create a new cloth. It will rotate the viewport so that I enter this cloth generating mode and it has these pins or uh, vertices that lets you uh, select where the different parts of the body are. So like nipple, I can just select this vertex and to easily move these to the positions you want, you can hold down shift and then select any part of the body you want. So for example, uh, the nipple here, I can hold down shift and right click on the nipple and then shift S selection to cursor to move that nipple to that area, that vertex to that area. Now I can also do this for the neck, uh, the chin, shoulder, elbow, wrist, and finally pelvis, just like that. You can ignore the other parts because those are necessary only for the father. Now I can go to generate top. Now it will add these rings uh, that lets you decide the width of everything. So for the waist, this is way too big. So I'm going to scale it down and uh, maybe, maybe bring it up a bit. Yes, about there. Uh, I want these, the bicep circle to just be maybe around there. And I need to push it in a bit. This is the shoulder, neck. I think I'm happy with that. Uh, I'm going to just push this a bit behind like that. And we can generate top. Look at that. And you have a top. Uh, I'm seeing a few issues here like this push this is pulling in uh, so if you have issues like this you can try to paint them out so i'm going to go to paint mode and uh, select shrink wrap and just paint that if it's not moving you can even tap into edit mode and just, just select the vertices and just push them down i need to make sure just want to make sure that i'm selecting only the vertices that i want uh these will resolve when uh, the simulation is running so i'm not worried about those so i can go out of paint mode Perfect. Now I also, I think I should, I don't want this to be, to, uh, to have this much volume here. So I'm just going to shrink it just a bit. Vertex mode. And just like that, we have a nice shot. We don't stop here, obviously. We can do other things, like we can add a trouser. So you just have to go up here and change from top to trouser. Select the character, set up a new cloth, and uh, we just need to set up the pelvis. I, I think it goes there. Uh, the hip can go there. Now we can generate trouser. The waist, too big. But let's see what happens if we just do this. So generate trouser, that's, <laughs> it's just, yeah, that's too big. I'm just going to undo. Uh, let's make, just put everything where it should be, I think. Uh, they should be in, uh, the knee should be tighter. 
I think that's great. Now we can generate the trouser and look at that. You can see how these are resolved quite easily. And maybe the waist is a bit too high, so I'm going to undo and just bring this down. Generate. Perfect. Yeah, so that is Divine Card for you. And uh, if you want to get it, links are going to be in the description. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.